Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Going to do a range comparison with two very comparable handguns. Here we have a Canik TP9 SF Elite. I've compared this several times and I'm pretty sure just about every time I chose the Canik. But this one will be a little bit different because it's so similar. And here we've got a SAR9 Mate or Meta. SAR calls it a Meta. Both Turkish made handguns, both budget price, both loaded with features. Let's start with the Canik. The TP9 SF Elite comes with 15 round magazines, loaded with features, offers a, a holster in the case. It has an excellent trigger that breaks right around four and a half pounds with a very short reset. Fiber optic front sight, worn tactical adjustable rear sights, forward serrations, has that excellent trigger with a trigger safety in there. Ambidextrous slide stop, the magazine release can be switched over. Overall, very nice handgun. You're looking at just shy of $400 for this. The MSRP is around $420, so it's a, uh, you know, upper 300s would be a good estimate. It has a cock striker indicator in the back and a very nice handgun. People love the Canik models. I love the Canik models. I have several. I really enjoy this TP9 SF Elite and it has shot great for me. 4.2 inch barrel. And we'll take a few shots here. Let's go up top here. Nice, I love the way this shoots. Very accurate, it's been great. It's budget priced and the Canik models, you know, when they started, there was just the TP9 and they've expanded their line incredibly large. And this was a big hit when it first came out. Now it's just another Canik because they have so many. SAR is in the process of doing that. They started out with the SAR 9 and they've expanded the SAR 9. And one of their latest offerings is the SAR 9 Meta. And what makes this different from the SAR 9 is that it has a direct mount optic system. I didn't put an optic on there. I may do that in the future, but it has a 4.4 inch barrel. So if we look at the barrel length, we can see that the SAR goes a little bit longer not by much because it's only 0.2 inches longer with the barrel full rail there a very nice ergonomic feel with additional back straps and side panels on the grip it comes with 17 round mags so two additional rounds in the mag and what makes the meta a little different as well is that it has some slide cuts there that lessens the weight a bit three dot adjustable rear sights pinned in front dot forward serrations safari color this one is they have others that are either black or gray and a very nice trigger on this as well you're looking at once again a four and a half pound trigger so the barrels the trigger the overall shooting impressions i guess we'll see but they're very similar and they're both made in Turkey and they're both budget priced. Mid $300, some people are picking this up for $350 with a Riton red dot on there. That's a great price. If you don't shop around, you'll pay in the 400s for this. But on average, it's about 30 bucks cheaper than the Canik TP9 SF Elite. Let's take a few shots. We'll start up top here. Come on. All right. So I shot the Canik better. And I'm a little disappointed because in the past I've shot the SAR very well. Anyhow, they compare well. They are very similar in features. Canik has a few more features. I like the trigger better on the Canik. Although I like this, I like the, that. Canik does a great job with their triggers. Let's just face it. They are really nice i'm a huge sar fan though i love what they're coming out with even revolvers but if i had to choose one and i was going to run an optic i'd certainly go with the meta 
SR9 Meta. But based on what I just did, I have no choice. I have to go with the Canik TP9 SF Elite. I shot better. Uh, if I did it again, I may shoot better with the SAR. But I'm pretty happy to own both these. And they're going to stick with me for a while because I think they're pretty fine handguns. What I really want to know is which one would you choose? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.